welcome to Nicole's Natal Work. Today is Monday, June 28th, 2021. This is a video podcast about stitching, knitting, and quilting. Um, although lately it's been more about quilting than anything else. Um, show notes can be found on my blog, Nicole'sNeedlework.com, and I can be found on Instagram and Ravelry at Nicole's Needlework. Hi, Ginger here. I got a couple things finished up and I'm going to announce um, the winner for the giveaway of Farm Girl Vintage 2 and then I've got some other stuff to give away. Um, so I I showed this last time and it was finished but I got it washed or I washed it and I love how it turned out. It turned out really nice. Um, I love the crinkled look of quilts once you wash them. It's my favorite part. So again, this is um, Layer Cake Lollies by Fat Quarter Shop. It's a free pattern on their website. And I used um, Bonnie and Camille Shine On. So I used a layer cake, and then I used um, Moda Bella Solids Bleached White, number 98. Um, and I used that for the background and the backing. And then I used um, this red floral um, for the binding from the Shine On line. So very happy with that one. Um, this one sits on my ottoman by my stitching chair. So, and then I got my um, flea market table runner finished by Lori Holt. And this uses flea market. This is the fabric from her flea market line. And I kept calling it Flea Market Flowers Table Runner. It's just Flea Market Table Runner. But so happy with how this turned out. I um, ended up doing my own quilting. I did a crosshatch design on it. And um, I think it turned out really pretty. So a lot of first, first time doing hand applique, which I loved. First time doing my own quilting and then I did um, I put the binding on by machine so I did uh, machine binding and I used um, Camille Ross Kelly's tutorial uh, she has a video through the fat quarter shop where she shows how to put the binding on by machine and um, it wasn't too hard um, I think I do still prefer sewing it on by hand just have a little bit more control um, and I'm sure it just will take practice to get better at it. Um, but yeah, I'm so glad this is done. The only thing I have to do, um, the only thing left to do is sew some buttons on. And I got just a couple bags of Lori Holt's, um, granny chic buttons and put them in this little mason jar. Um, and so I'm just going to use the bigger sizes. And then, uh, oops. And then I'm just gonna sew them on right in the center there. And that will just finish it off. It'll be real cute. So yeah, so glad I got this done and very happy with how it turned out. And then I got um, the binding put on my windmill quilt. And this was the kit from Sweet Daisy Quilt Shop. So everything came in it. Um, and the fabric is, um, I always get this wrong. It's Gingham Gardens by My Mind's Eye for Riley Blake. And um, so I hand sewed the binding on on Saturday. And got that one done and washed up and it washed up so nice. Yeah, I'm really happy with this. Um, you can see the pretty quilting. And again, that quilting was done by um, Keystone Sisters Quilting. And Jennifer, one of the sisters, can be found on Instagram at um, C Jen Quilt. So, yep, love how the, and this is hanging out on the back of our couch. And 
My husband was actually using it yesterday, which was nice. I told him, please use the quilts. That's what they're there for. Um, that was my goal to have um, my quilts, you know, around the house to be used. So very happy that that's happening. Um, the other one I finished was the Jelly Roll Twist quilt that I used the French Moda La Rose Rouge fabrics. Um, and um, I don't have that one with me because my mother-in-law came up this weekend. My middle son, Jake, graduated from high school. He decided he didn't want to do the ceremony because it was a new school and didn't really know many people. So I was fine with that as long as he got his diploma, which he did. He went and picked up this morning. But anyway, my mother-in-law came up to see him and give him a card and everything. And um, I ended up giving that quilt to her. Ginger loves the quilts. She loves hanging out on them. She's a big fan of them. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I was glad to get all those done, get all the bindings on, get them washed up. I just, I love them once they're washed. So then of course I decided to start something new. So um, I subscribed to the Layla, the Layla boot, Lella not speak today, Lella Boutique um, newsletter and her pattern of the month this month is the shuffle pattern. Oh, I'm sorry for the glare, but it's a cute little pinwheel pattern and they're kind of on an angle. So, um, and it calls for two charm packs. So when I saw that, I remembered I had that Bonnie and Camille um, little snippets. I have two of their charm packs. And here's a white one with the, there's another white one with the, the background is white. And so I just thought that was so cute. So I decided to do that. Um, I got the pattern and then went up to So Much Fun in Lowell, North Carolina because they, um, that's where I got the charm packs and they still have some yardage of little snippets. So I, um, I also got some Moda Bella solids in number 200, which is off-white and went ahead and cut that up into five inch squares to go with the charm packs to do half square triangles. And I've gotten much better at doing half square triangles. Um, I got this this ruler and it's hard to see. Let me see if I can put something behind it. And it's a block lock. So the way it works is there's like a indentation here and you um, press it to one side and then it locks in there and you're able to trim all around there. And I've got a rotating mat that I picked up at Hobby Lobby and that works great. So love this block lock ruler. And then, um, so I, I'm, I'm done with the sewing of all my half square triangles. This fabric is so cute. And I've got them all trimmed out, ready to go. I just need to sew them together. And this is the binding fabric I'm going to use. So here's just one of the pinwheels. And then here is a pinwheel with the fabric sewn onto the side. So it's kind of like a long triangle and that gives it that angled. So you sew these triangles on the edges and you do them different ways. So it looks like they're going back and forth. So that's one um, with the border, with the edges sewn on. So it's going to be really cute. I'm really excited about that one. And um, oh, for this, I meant to talk about that. Um, so for the lines doing the quilting, I did them about an inch and a half apart. And I drew a couple lines and then I was going to use my walking foot with a guide on there to do the other ones, but I still kept, 
like I just couldn't keep it straight without the line being drawn. So I think I need a little more practice with that. So I just use one of these um, marking pencils to draw my lines. It's called a sew line and um, worked great. Washed out great and everything, so. So the only stitching I worked on, um, and this is in my Bonnie and Camille from their Sunday Stroll line, um, was um, Clarissa Beaumont. So there's Clarissa there. I don't have a lot to show, a lot of progress to show. Um, I just worked on the border a little more and a little bit of this um, brown here under the, that will go under the dog. And again, this is vintage, um, 40 count vintage sand dune by Lakeside Linens. And I'm using all the called for DMC. So I had my Bonnie and Camille quilt on my ottoman and then had this on top and it, it looks so pretty. <laughs> it's nice when your project bags match your quilts. But anyway, um, so then when I, so I went to So Much Fun in Lowell, which is a really nice store. It's, it's big. I think when I first went there, it, it was almost overwhelming. Like I couldn't take it all in. It was, it was almost too much. But now I've gotten a little more used to it and uh, kind of understand what's going on a bit more. So I got a, um, I found this jelly roll there and it's that daybreak fabric, which I had the little charm pack to do the um, little cloth uh, basket. But yeah, I got this jelly roll. Oh, I just love this fabric. Um, not sure what pattern I want to do yet. Um, so if you have any ideas, uh, for jelly roll quilt, leave them in the comment because I haven't quite decided, but I did get, um, some background fabric at, um, so then I had to go to We're So Creative because they have a lot of the Bella solids there, um, at so much fun, she said they really go through their um, solid fabrics pretty quickly. So they didn't have any there. So this is the Bella um, Solids Off-White, number two, number 200. And it's the same that I'm using for the um, Bonnie and Camille little snippets. So, and then I got, uh, some binding fabric for binding. So it's gonna be so pretty. So I'm, like I said, I'm not quite sure what I wanna do with that. I have a couple things in mind, but still thinking about it. Okay, so the only other thing I've been working on is my What the Fade shawl. I'm sure you all are so sick of looking at this thing. Uh, <laughs> just got a couple more rows done. Like I'll just work on this when I'm waiting in the car at late at night when I, not late at night, but when I still want to do something, but too tired to stitch or so. So one day I will get this finished. I'm, I feel like I see the end coming. Um, so I think that's it for everything I've been working on. Um, I have a couple other things to show over here. So the giveaway is for Farm Girl Vintage 2 by Lori Holt. And I'm doing this again because it wasn't claimed the first time. So the, um, the keywords were Farm Girl. And let's see. I got a total of 285 entries. So Mary Bianchi is the winner. And she just says, beautiful quilt, 
Farm Girl blocks would make great project bags also, which I completely agree, they definitely would. Okay, so I will leave a comment on your comment with my email address and um, just email me your mailing address and I will get it out to you this week. So I also got a box of goodies from the Fat Quarter Shop and I wanna give some of those away also. Um, this is the project bag from It's So Emma and it's called Mad for Plaid and this is the berry color. So in here is one and a half inch finishing dots and then three quarter inch finishing dots. So it says um, cross stitch finishing dots come in two sizes and are a great notion for mounting needlework. The double sided acid free um, they adhere to artboards, foam core, and more without leaving residue on your fabrics. So it's like sticky board, but um, not, you know, it's just acid free, double sided tape basically. So two of those. And then there is a VMI bonnet stitch card set, and this is set I. This is by Lori Holt. And then two prim, prim Stitch Series charts. This is 11 of 12, Gratitude and Grace. And number 12 of 12, Hands and Heart to God. So there's that one. And then a Flea Market Flowers chart. So that is all going in one package. And to win this, it's going with the berry um, plaid bag, whoops. So to win this, just put in the comment, um, berry summer, B-E-R-R-Y. Like you can do berry bag, berry plaid. I will just search for berry, B-E-R-R-Y. Right there, berry. All right, so the next one is, this is the bag, Mad for Plaid Olive. And this is a uh, quilting stuff in here. So this is a um, small cutting mat. And it's a, it's by Fig Tree and Company for It's So Emma. Very cute. And then there's a couple little quilt patterns here. This one is Embark. And uses uh, fat quarters. So there's two sizes, lap or king. Um, and then here's another one. And this is called Festive. And there is four sizes, table runner, crib, lap and queen. And then Lori Holt's new book, Kaleidoscope, which I have, um, I pre-ordered this, so mine is coming soon. But I had bought the Fat Quarter Bundle a while ago, and this will be perfect for this quilt. There's three different sizes in here, crib, lap, queen, um, yeah. And there's pillows and um, cross stitch design. For the queen, it is 25 fat quarters. So I definitely have enough to make the queen. Um, the only thing I don't have enough of is the backing. So I got enough backing for the lap quilt. And the backing I got is the B cross stitch. So this is all, sorry. This is all B cross stitch fabric by Lori Holt. Um, and I got the B cross stitch fabric in Cottage for the backing. I got this at We're So Creative in Concord, North Carolina. Um, so I only got six yards of this and I need a few more yards. And this is not backing, this is background. Backing's a whole nother story. 
Um, yeah, this is background. And then I got B cross stitch and cottage for the binding. So I thought that would be really pretty. So for, let me see, background. Yeah, so that would be plenty if I want, if I decided to do the lap quilt. And it's still a pretty big quilt, 72 by 72 for a lap quilt. And they have patterns for pillows in here. And um, cross stitch pattern here. And she gives you, let me see here. She gives you different colorways in the back to do that cross stitch pattern. I think that one's really pretty there. And that, they're all pretty, but I really like that one. Um, pretty pictures. She always has beautiful photos in her books. So this is going, so this giveaway, these quilt items, quilt patterns will be in the olive bag. So I'll just be looking for olive bag or olive plaid. Doesn't matter, I'm just gonna be looking for the word olive, which is funny because that's what I named my feather weight. Um, and then there's like just a few other things that um, I'm going to keep for now. I may do them in a future giveaway. And there was um, a gray bag and it's called charcoal. This is the color charcoal. And then um, this one is Among the Stars again. And it was a block of the month club. So I'm just gonna hold on to that. And then this Oregon Trail template set. So I'd like to kind of learn how to use templates. Um, and this is for the new book coming out, a scrapbook of quilts. So I thought that would be kind of neat to play around with and try some new things. But the two things I'm giving away this time And this is the cross stitch one, this is berry, and then the quilting uh, one is olive. So berry and olive. And I think that is it. We'll go ahead and do another video next Monday to do that giveaway. And, um, and again, Mary, uh, send me an email with your address and I will get that book out to you. Talk to you guys later, bye.